I've made a 15 day plan filled with valuable resources that can really help you boost your career as a self taught UX designer. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. This is your friend Ansh Mehra and you are watching the last 15th episode of our free course Foundations for UX Design. It doesn't matter what softwares you know today because with time every technical skill gets outdated. What truly stays with you are the core principles. your mindset and the way you think about your subject welcome to the foundations for ux design a 15 episode series that will take you through all the important lessons and realizations i've had so far as a self taught ux designer my name is ansh mehra and i am a product designer and storyteller at zadl.com which is a virtual events hosting platform in this session we will be learning some of the most common mistakes students make when they begin their career as a ux designer i hope you've seen all videos from the series preceding this episode with that being said i hope you enjoy this session so without wasting any further time let's get started So let's figure out what will we learn today. So of course I have made a notion document where I have made a 15 day plan and for every day you have one resource I will take you through each and every single day. Then we will do a quick revision just a recap of what we've learned so far in the previous 14 episodes and just a quick discussion of what will happen once you finish this course what is the next series that I will come up with. So as I mentioned earlier here is a free notion document which has a day wise plan. For day number 2 there's a fabulous article on Figma's website on five ways to level up your prototyping workflow in Figma. Right so prototyping is a skill that we've regularly mentioned we haven't done any practical examples but I think this article can really give you those practical tips five really practical tips to improve your workflow. On day 3 we go through something which is slightly more subtle or slightly more advanced but it's a figma community file that is based on naming your layers right so usually when we're designing we don't focus on naming our layers we usually keep them at group 1 group 3 auto layout this frame 1 frame 2 but that is not how you conduct a better handoff so this figma file will take you through different levels like different levels of naming your layers and it would give you a lot of insight as to how you can organize your layer structure and do better handoff on day number 4 we are covering one of my favorite resources which is growth.design so most of you would have covered their case studies but there's a column on growth.design which talks about psychology so they have listed a couple of mental models and i want you to go through each and every mental model go through each and every example that they've mentioned within the mental model right because even though we think on a regular basis even though we are observing and figuring out stuff it is very important to name these mental models if you have a name for these behaviors it would become easier for you to recognize them it would become easier for you to catch them when they are happening you know in front of you so on day number 5 we will go through the documentation of material design 3 so in material design 3 they have something which is called as adaptive design and i wouldn't go into too much detail right now the link has access to everything that you need to know and on day 6 as well i've just mentioned one more page so on day 5 i want you to read about adaptive design and on day number 6 i want you to just understand how they define their colors what is their logic behind you know their derivatives their primary color their contrast colors how do they think about primary and tertiary colors it would give you a lot of clarity on day 7 we will learn from ios human interface guidelines this is a very valuable resource i have just mentioned one page but i would recommend you to cover the entire thing this is going to be a long day for you so i would recommend you to keep this on a weekend but day 7 would allow you to go really deep into the small small aspects of you know just interface design and you know designing experiences that are very subtle very clean and this resource has a lot of information so i would strongly recommend you to make detailed notes on day number 8 we cover ux copywriting something that we haven't touched in the entire series i thought that it's very important that we cover copy and this website right here microcopy.me has collected some very inspiring copywriting examples from different apps right so they've picked examples from headlines notifications ctas it would give you a very practical look into how applications communicate with their users right like how successful 
applications communicate with their users on a daily basis just by using type. We usually feel that only visual design and our components have a huge play in shaping the way people feel about our app. But in most cases, your copywriting truly, truly defines how people communicate with your app, right? Because they read the CTA text, they read the headlines, they read the loading text, and then they make an image about your app's personality. So going through this resource will give you a lot of inspiration for writing better copy. On day number nine, I have shared a best practice guide. This has been uploaded on Figma's website and they have a lot of blogs. So, you know, every blog is very, very valuable. I would recommend you to go through this. On day 10, we have figmalian.com. I hope that I'm pronouncing it right. This is basically like this big repository of all Figma resources that you will ever need, right? So instead of Googling here and there for the best plugins, for the best articles, this is the only website you need. Now on day 11, we will go towards the advanced topics, right? Which is design systems. Before we see practical design systems, we have to build our foundations, right? We have to figure out the theory behind design systems. So this website right here, heydesign.systems is a wonderful, wonderful curation of resources. It has like a watch list, it has a reading list, and I would recommend you to just go through through whatever you find interesting because on day 12, we will go through practical examples of design systems. So designsystemsrepo.com is actually a gallery, a curation of a full collection of all the design systems that we see online, like all the popular ones, right? And I want you to go through these design systems and make notes as to how they are doing it. Just, you know, collect inspiration. I don't want you to go really deep into them. My intent with this 15 day exercise is that I want you to see that these resources exist. So once this 15 day sprint is over in the course of next you know six seven months if you have a doubt if you have an issue you would have a repository to look into you would have these places to look into you would not just blindly search on google you would know that okay this is where i can take some inspiration now on day 12 we looked at the entire design system but on day 13 i want you to study it component wise right so instead of going system wise we would pick a component and see how that one component has been declared in multiple systems so component dot gallery would take you through this wonderful, wonderful catalog of different resources where you can pick a specific component and see how this component has been declared across, you know, different systems. It's a very, very cool repository. I personally love it. It's one of my favorite uh, websites out there. On day 14, we have a very cool website which basically has articles. This would help you strengthen your theory. These articles are slightly more advanced. That's why I've kept them at the very end, but it's on designsystems.com. And on day 15, there is one person that I want you to follow, although there are many other people that you should follow, but there's one person that I truly, truly admire, and that is Danny Sapio. I hope that I'm pronouncing his name right. His website is dansapio.medium.com, and this is the Medium link. And please read everything that he's written. I'm telling you, there's so much value put out by this one single person. You will thank me and you will thank him forever. Now, I really want you to take this 15-day plan seriously. I had a lot of resources but there's a reason why I have positioned and scheduled these resources in this specific order. So yes, moving on, before I end this video, I want you to take a pause and look back and see what we have learned. Go through your notes. I would strongly recommend you to watch every single episode in this series twice, simply because there is so much content. There is so much of small, small stuff mentioned in my videos that you would miss out on them in the first watch. So I usually do this all the time. Whenever I find a course, whenever I read a book that I really resonate with, I make sure that I finish the entire thing twice. So trust me, you would thank me. You would realize that as you watch the same episodes again and again, you would find more things to learn from it. And uh, what's next? Well, I have been collecting some feedback. Now that this basic playlist is complete, I will move on towards more practical episodes. Uh, I will be uploading videos where we actually make apps, like make hands-on stuff. But until my new videos come, I would suggest you to just you know keep working on your personal project and start documenting whatever you have learned put them on a notion page and use that notion page as your resume if you have benefited from my course we are looking for testimonials we regularly upload testimonials on our social media page on our instagram so if you want to be a part of our testimonial promotional series please send me an email on anshmera2498 at the rate gmail.com. Otherwise, you can always connect with me on Instagram on anshmehra.work and on Twitter, I am anshmehra with three years at the end. I hope that you're taking care of yourself. Keep designing awesome stuff. This was your friend anshmehra and you have just finished our free course, Foundations for UX Design.
If you like this video, make sure you click on like and hit the subscribe button. I regularly upload videos on UX design, marketing and storytelling.